you guys say when you're in the bathroom and someone tries to open the bathroom door? <laughs> no, no, not yet, not yet. And that says everything about the two of us. <laughs> Are you pee shy? I'm really pee shy. I also like to tell people I'm shitting sometimes. If I'm close to you, I'll be like, I'm shitting. But only even when you're not shitting. I'm usually shitting. Same. <laughs> and my day is like one long shit with breaks in between. Not <laughs> kidding. Yeah. It's real. It's real. Uh, I'm hard. <laughs> I go, Marco, and then they say, Polo. No, no, stop, stop. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you say when someone's attacking you? <laughs> no, no, stop, stop. I did hear that if someone is, like, trying to attack you, what you should do is immediately take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs self-defense class? Just eat fiber. Make a mess. I feel like you're going to make a mess in my van, yeah. so this isn't going to work out. Okay. I don't want them to know that I pee sitting down because I do. I get I have a squatty potty, so I really prop myself up like a little. It's about colon health. I put the toilet paper on the seat. You have a whole séance. Yes, I do. I have a whole. I pray to God. I do eight hail marys, and then I take a monster shit. Ah, ah. You know what? There was one time where I was like, it's not embarrassing. This happens to everyone. I'm gonna play it cool. Whatever happens, you have to make eye contact with them as you're leaving with wet hands, and that's yeah. really. That's girlhood. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. It's a bonding moment. It's a trauma bond. If you're flying a plane and something happens to the pilot, could you save the plane? Fuck no. I'm immediately standing up and I'm admitting that. I say, I'm not a doctor. I am not a pilot. I'm a fucking TikToker. If anybody wants to make out in row 14C, I am here. I do see a viral moment happening yes. if you guys want it. I'm immediately trying to airdrop a video to the ground and I'm like, come on. Does anyone have the Wi-Fi? I don't know where that came from. The guys can land a plane. I can't find the G spot. You think I can land a fucking G37? I actually do um, because I watch all the James Bond movies and I love Jerry Barrymore, who I know you love, and mm -hmm. Charlie's Angels. Mm -hmm. So could I divert like a 9? 11 probably not but I could probably land us safely by Disney <laughs> you could do like a simple flight from right LaGuardia I like everybody we're experiencing I already have the pitch being gay I have the flight attendant thing down I'm like I could go for my hey did you want nuts with that voice Wait, why are flight attendants gay it's the tight pants I think the the testicles they love just, the outfit they're, they're jammed in there and that makes the pitch go higher yeah hey Alaska flight <laughs> if something happened to the pilot could you fly the plane no <laughs> no I yeah I have a Corolla I'm not gonna fly a plane. Can you imagine? What if your girlfriend was like, please, like, it's the only way to save everyone. Can you figure it out? Okay, then I could do it. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of a girl pleading. Please? No, there's too many buttons. <laughs> Have you ever seen how many, like, why are there <laughs> so many buttons? That seems like a lot could go wrong. Right. I'll trip and hit 10 buttons and be like, fuck. Yeah, we would crash. We'd probably hit a building with like school children and everyone would blame me. It would be embarrassing. All gifted and talented. Yeah, children. they're all talented. They're all mini Einsteins. They were all like. They the were gonna solve cancer. Yeah, solve cancer. <laughs> they were this close to solving cancer. When you're in the bathroom and someone tries to break in, what do you say? Somebody's in here. <laughs> I used to do the classic someone, and then you're like, who? You're I don't know. Figure it out. <laughs> if I'm a little bit drunk, I'll go, huh. <laughs> but for years, I did the really pathetic, like, sorry. Women have to stop saying sorry. What do men say? They're probably like, fuck you. <laughs> you're welcome. Get in here, buddy. <laughs> they invite them in. Come in. <laughs> Wipe my ass. <laughs> Can you imagine? I do hate it, especially the if they do it twice, they're a fucking psychopath. <laughs> also, I'm just talking to myself in the mirror crying <laughs> about how I haven't accomplished anything and my father isn't a happy for me and it's way sadder than seeing me shit. I pee a lot. <laughs> I think I have a, like, I either have prostate cancer or I'm in the best shape of my life. I don't know which you is You're so hydrated or you're about to die in three seconds. Yeah. That's a non-sexual turn on for you guys. When they hate me. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Wait, I just got so turned on. Yeah, mine right now is being really hairy. Like someone who's really hairy is like such a turn on for me. Why? I don't know. It was like Why? one good hairy guy I saw. And then after that, it was like every hairy man. True. Okay. So wildebeest vibes. Yeah. I feel like a lot of guys in LA are like waxing their chests and shit. Yeah, I can't do hairless, bald. Ever like gone down on a guy who's like just completely, completely bald? Like a baby dolphin. Hate it. Uh, it's squeaking. Yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> or if I it's feel prickly. Like, I feel like if it's bald, they're on grinder, and that's that on that. I don't no, know. No, no. If it's prickly, though, when you're going down on them, you will exfoliate, and you don't have to get a facial. I get I'm into that, but you get that special type of acne. Everything that turns me on is non-sexual. It makes me want to be sexual. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like consistency is a turn on. Ooh, I can't even spell that. Consistency. Be consistent with me, daddy. Mm. Be consistent with me. I'll take my mm. pants off. People with emotional vocabulary. Ooh. Tell me how you feel. Oh. Tell me how you feel. I heard that 90% of lesbian sex is just talking. No, it's not true. It's eating hummus and crying. <laughs> When uh, she knows exactly what she wants out of like a bar, she's like, "Oh, dirty martini, three olives, this and that." I'm like, "Oh God!" You know, she starts, you know, she's calling a damn hot ride out there. Okay, but what about Starbucks when she's like, "I need a venti, half chai, half calf." One ingredient foam. at Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> one ingredient at a bar, it's hot. She's dirty martini. But when it's too many at Starbucks, then I get nervous. There's a lot of non-sexual things that turn me on. I think it would just be a smell. Like, I like to know a guy spends money on a cologne, like the Ooh. Gucci, the Louis Vuitton. But is know. he, like, overcompensating for something? Is he hiding his secret family under his cologne? Yes, of course, probably. But I, I, I admire that. You yeah. know what I mean? He put in effort. He put in an effort, and he knows detective work. He's a regular <laughs> Nancy Drew. I am very turned on by, just in general, men with glasses. Men who, if something were to happen to their glasses, could not protect you. Yeah, could not protect you, will not survive <laughs> the apocalypse. They don't have a second pair. They don't have contacts. <laughs> The second it's out, he's Velma, and I am protecting him. <laughs> he's on the floor with his ass in the air, reaching around with his little fingies, and I have an AR-15. <laughs> no chance he's going to read a receipt, I'll tell you that. <laughs> when uh, my girlfriend compliments me at all. You have, like, a validation kink. Oh, I'm so into validation. And any, like, act of service. Yeah. If she gets a coffee for me that I wasn't expecting. You cry. I finally come. <laughs> What's <laughs> the last thing you Googled that was weird? Side effects of Ozempic and Adderall. <laughs> Be like, I'm fine if I die, but like, will it make me bloated? <laughs> kidding, kidding. She's kidding. She's Manjaro and Xana. <laughs> How long do you guys wait before farting in a relationship? I don't fart. I even once. It's best to just get it out of the way. Like you guys are so opposite. Fart. A first date fart. Yeah. Not kidding. What if you do it together and hold hands and make eye contact and go, let's release together? That sounds like an LA thing. Yeah, that takes the edge off a little bit. Unless if yours is louder and hotter than his, and then you're like, that's an ick for me. I'm like, you need to get a real fart. True, that's so true. I feel like girls toot. I love the word toot. It <laughs> takes everything, like all the pressure off. Like I toot it. It's cute. So you go, <laughs> I fear I'm a sleep farter though. <gasps> That's Everyone's scared. Guy. I wouldn't know about it. Because what if you're holding it all day and then you're like insane with the sleep farts? Oh no, I've had someone who is a sleep farter next to me. I think we need to get an app to track our sleep farts so we know. Oh I think God. there is an app for that and why do I know that? <laughs> like a, a Fitbit. How many farts per minute or per hour at night? Something like <laughs> you're asshole. Like you're kind of onto something. Shark Tank. <laughs> or maybe you just have to sleep with a butt plug. Are you not? <laughs>